Now, one issue on the ballot in Missouri next week is Amendment 3. You've likely seen some ads for and against. But what does it all mean? KCTV 5 stands for you, and you may not realize amendment actually has three parts, one in particular drawing the most interest now. KCTV 5's Bill Hurlbrink takes a look at both sides. There's two sides to every issue. Please support Amendment 3. Vote no on Amendment 3. And Amendment 3 is no different. Voting no on the amendment means redistricting across the state would remain the same. Right now, that means a Senate-approved, nonpartisan state demographer draws district maps using existing criteria. After careful study, the League of Women Voters has decided to oppose Amendment 3. Um, it, it is really a repeal of what the voters decided by a large majority just two years ago. Voting yes on the amendment would eliminate the state demographer and instead use a bipartisan commission appointed by the governor for legislative redistricting. It would also alter their criteria for drawing maps. The reasons for that uh, are that Clean Missouri was sold as ethics reform. And it did indeed have some ethics reform provisions, uh, but people that backed Amendment 3, or excuse me, backed Clean Missouri, uh, clearly were in the game uh, to change the way we redistrict. Elwell wants people to understand what it means if it passes. Hopefully voters will understand that what it really talks about is uh, repealing what they approved by a majority just uh, two years ago. And Hearst says he wants to change that new way of redistricting, which in his opinion means a more fair way of dealing with local issues depending on where you live. Small schools, our roads, uh, just different, different problems, different concerns, different interests uh, than you have in Springfield. While redistricting is the focus of both sides, if the amendment passes, it would also lower the threshold of lobbyist gifts from $5 to zero and lower Senate campaign contributions from $2,500 to $2,400. We'll have a link to the full text of the amendment on our website, kctv5.com. I'm Bill Hurlbrink, KCTV5 News. Amendment 3, not the only important question facing Missourians next week. They'll also have to make a big decision on term limits. Missouri Amendment 1 would limit the Lieutenant Governor, Secretary of State, State Auditor, and Attorney General to two terms of office in a lifetime. That would mean the elected officials would be required to leave office after eight years. As of right now, the Governor and Treasurer are the only two elected offices in Missouri who are limited like that. Supporters believe this would prevent career politicians in the state but opponents are worried about the turnover rate and the risk of putting inexperienced people into office. Now get ready for election day with our campaign 2020, America Decides. We'll break down the local contests and issues and talk about your rights in the voting booth. So join us here on KCTV 5 this Sunday following the Chiefs game.